Welcome parents of cancer children to parental guidance. Um, this is your uh, forecast for the month of May. So excited. Sounds like some good stuff. I see a lot of, um, wow, crown chakra um, and solar plexus energy. And you can see it in, in the colors of the shirt. All of these are have like the, the purples and the blues um, or the, the aqua purple and this magenta color, all three of these cards. So it, it, it feels very, um, crown chakra E, um, it could be elements of the heart, uh, elements of the throat. Um, but I, I really see more crown. Let's talk about this. So for your cancer child in the month of May, um, I feel like for some, they do, it's, it's a desire to concentrate well. It's a wanting to concentrate well. In the upright, it says, I concentrate well, which means that they possibly could, but, or more so in a desire to want to. In the reverse, I do feel that there is a huge uh, majority of those who will be watching this video uh, that feel very anxious this month. Uh, if you know uh, much about cancer, they rule uh, like the, the breast area, but they also have a lot to do with indigestion in the stomach. And, you know, so when your child is really nervous um, and they don't feel secure, which um, can happen with um, cancer children, they can get like an upset stomach or just nerves in their tummy. Um, so for whatever reason, they may there may be something that comes up that really makes it hard for them to concentrate this month. And, and again, these messages apply to the sun, the moon, the rising, the Venus and the Mars. We do have the high priestess, though, and this moon is, you know, shining upon her crown, essentially, is reminding is standing out to me and it's reminding me of, you know, this crown chakra here. Um, I feel that there is a desire to be centered. Again, we have, you know, this color here around the throat. Um, but I feel like someone's really trying or there's this desire to connect and be more grounded, to be more spiritually centered. Um, you know, we have the spontaneity card. So I, because it's in reverse, I feel the words grounded uh, creativity are coming to me. Um, so there's this desire that in the midst of something throwing them off and, and maybe it's just a, a, a little bit or for a short time, but whatever it is, it causes them to go deeper. Um, I think that they have a spiritual gift that, um, you know, they, they're coming into terms with or growing to understand, they're questioning their uniqueness, um, or maybe it's uh, deepening. This says, I am unique today. I will appreciate everything that makes me me and celebrate the differences that make me one of a kind. So in the upright, this is encouraging to say, uh, you know, to say, hey, you are unique, you know, whereas in the, the reverse, it could be this understanding and establishment that they are, they already know that they are. Um, and also I'm, I see the gold tones and this, the pink and the hearts, um, much like that of, um, you know, the high priestess card. So that may mean something for someone. If anything, it, it just tells me that these messages are congruent. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's some kind of spiritual development that's happening within your cancer child in the month of May as they go deeper. And, you know, this uh, May, especially with Gemini, it's like their 12th house. So it's it's right before their solar return um, in June. So there could be some spiritual preparation for some kind of growth that they will, you know, undertake in the, you know, the month ahead. Uh, we also have Nurture Yourself. So they could, they could be nurturing their creativity. They, you know, their, um, their sacral, if I said solar plexus, I meant sacral. Um, but I, I get the sense that there is this, this quieting, there's this desire to be very still and observant and 
not let full like they will not allow themselves to be distracted with foolishness in the month of may i feel like your child um is almost like that they like i said that they are concentrating very well um you know so either like i said in the upright before this is the desire to concentrate i you know i did mention initially that there is um I, I still feel that there's a huge thing like that builds anxiety, which causes them to go deeper, some kind of either awakening or, you know, something that just throws them off and they, and your child says, no, 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 no. Um, I don't, I'm not going to let that, you know, stuff like that derail me again. I'm going to work on this feeling or this reaction so that the next time I won't respond the same way. I won't be as anxious. I won't be caught you know, off guard or thrown off, uh, you know, or I don't like the reaction that I had to that. So I'm going to do some work on myself so that, uh, you know, that anxiousness doesn't happen again. Um, and again, signs from the universe, that was probably the universe like, ding, you got the, you, you hit the nail on the head. Um, so that's, that's what I'm getting for your cancer child for the month of May. Um, I'm really excited for the growth for them, really excited about this grounded spiritual growth that seems to, you know, be at work for them, uh, this month. So thanks you all for watching and, uh, we'll see you soon.